smoking from it. She's just kind of had the run of the city. Mm -hmm. She was in the backyard, kind of just pecked around in her backyard for a good while. And she'd come up every night to roost, mm -hmm. come in every night to roost. Then she event started venturing into the next door neighbor's yard. Then before you knew it, she was venturing around town to all the businesses. Mm -hmm. And they all kind of uh, adopted her. Adopted her. Mm -hmm. Looked out for her. Uh, she actually got her nails, toenails painted one day. Candy, your nails. The nail salon. The girls took her in and painted her nails. <laughs> and she'd go pecking at their glass and they'd open the door and she'd just go right in. I mean, she's really become a really cool little pet. She really has. And it's so funny. Time. Tended to properly. She's not dirty. She's very clean. She does, she's not making droppings anywhere, you know, or anything like that. Right. It's That's just so funny watching her. She's just, and she's tame like a dog. I'm amazed. I live in a city and I just can't believe it. She's so tame. What about that, Boogie? What do you love about that stance? What is it? Well, Sheila lets Chuck out in the mornings and she just kind of makes her stroll around the block saying hello to all the shops in St. Mary's. If we have our door open on a nice day, she likes to come in and say hi and get her toenails painted. Some of our clients still aren't, you know, all about the Chuck the Chicken idea of being in candy or nails, but she just minds her own business. She just walks around. Sometimes we'll give her treats to eat, but she's, she's good in here.